folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> Just to take them away. When first they went, they bought the bedding and started building their humble home. And married life would treat them kindly till renting would teach them to roam. Both God in a dream of All right, all right, all right. The show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today, I think, is Christopher Welch and Friends. You are correct, sir. <laughs> it's Welcome great to, to see you, Christopher. Why don't you introduce your friends? 
To my right is Dan Thompson. Hey, Dan. Dan is a songwriter as well, an accomplished pianist and an arranger. He co-writes some of the songs uh, that we work on, and you'll hear some of those tonight, Bonnie. And we also, today, time zone, this is Leanne Weiss. Nice. Leanne Weiss is a songwriter as well, and she's a singer, and she's very accomplished in her own right. She's performed the Star Spangled Banner in many places, the rock yes. included, in addition to her own music at other venues. So I'm lucky to work with her. Cool. That was a beautiful song, and I must say your, your harmonies are fabulous. I'm so glad you like it. That makes us feel great, because a lot of music that we hear when performed acoustically uh, that really touches us is music with harmonies because that blend is, it enriches the song. What would you like to do for us next? Well, we've got a ballad that Leanne Weiss is very capable at singing. It's entitled, <laughs> At Home in Your Arms. That's beautiful. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful song that Christopher wrote. Yeah, the first one we did, Americana, was one that Dan and I co-wrote, and then At Home in Your Arms is one that I wrote solely, but Dan arranged, and to hear it in Leanne's throat is fantastic for me <laughs> because my version doesn't even come close. <laughs> Would you care to share how you first got bitten by the songwriting bug? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I always loved great songwriting. I've loved music ever since high school. It's sort of a religion, I think, for a lot of people when they're in high school. That's, they listen to groups that are all about romantic love. Then they get crushed and they need real religion. No, they, <laughs> but it's, it's great because then after hearing all of these songs, I was suddenly being programmed to write, hopefully, really good lyrics. So I listened to Cole Porter and I listened to Harry Chapin 
And I listened to people who I thought had just great lyrical ease. And they were essentially poetic, a lot of the things they wrote. And so someone said, after I played a Beatles song, why don't you write your own stuff? And I did. It was awful. And it got better the more I kept writing. And uh, that's what got us to perform at places like the State Fair and uh, brought us to your doorstep. Great. What's next? Next, we have a rocker. Uh, Moonlit Night of Our Love. A break from all the aggravation. A link to hearts across the nation. Saturday, that's my vacation. Oh, son, she's nice, but not salation. Let's go down, we'll hit the beach and all. Build a fire real tall. Now, come on. Great. That chugs along real good. It's fun. Yeah, we did this at the fair, and we, we also performed with a six-piece band, and it just gets crazy. And it's funny, you know, with a simple pop song, if the hook is good or the chorus is good, you can just keep hearing it forever. So hopefully people are dancing by the time we get to the end. So. You uh, have had some interesting conversations with well-known artists and songwriters. I'm fortunate. I had the uh, good fortune to meet Bucky Pizzarelli, who encouraged me to play the ukulele. He said, it's the best place to start. And I went from the ukulele to the classical guitar. And when I was thoroughly perplexed by the classical guitar, I booted it and moved on to acoustic and realized, well, this is good. I don't really need to know too many fingerings. So I did that. Other people that I met, though, that have been really helpful along the way, I had the good fortune to meet uh, Barry Mann. Barry Mann wrote You've Lost That Love and Feeling, which was, I think, one of the Huge best. Huge hit. Yeah, enormous. Big BMI song. And, uh, and he gave me the uh, encouragement and the insight to sing my own stuff. I mean, I want people to license my stuff and, and, and perform it like Leanne. She's a great vocal delivery system. She's better than <laughs> I could do with these ballads, without question. Great singing. But uh, I also loved hearing him sing his stuff, his originals, in addition to hearing like Randy Newman when he sings stuff. There's an earnestness there, and since it's the source, there's just something even more personal. So those two helped me a great deal. Cool. What's up next? Next, we've got a duet. It's entitled The Dreamer's Theme, uh, Oh How I Love You, and Dan and I co-wrote it. It was our first, our first, song? Our first song. 
I'm not going to get teary here, but I still remember it. It wasn't that long ago, by the way, a few years ago. And Dion will be, uh, Leanne will be singing with me for this as well. So I'm excited. We should let folks know how they can find out more information about your recording and your your upcoming events. I'd love it. The place to go is Candlework at CandleworkProductions.com. That's where they can email me. And there's also a website as well that is uh, CandleworkProductions.com. They can find out our backgrounds uh, in addition to hearing all the new songs that we keep coming out with, as they say, with, I guess, donuts, you know. Mm. You know, <laughs> listen to them. We'll make more. You know. <laughs> How did you first cross paths with Dan and Leanne? Oh, it was a dark alley. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I, I met Dan in a choir. Uh, and I was singing. Dan was playing. Dan was thoroughly capable at what he does. Uh, and piano was an instrument that was not nearly as uh, familiar to me as it was to him. So I got with Dan, and Dan and I did a... We, we, he put a song, The Rich Life, you did. Yes, you you arranged it. That was the first song ever. We did a demo. When I heard The Rich Life, well, um, I, I was convinced that I knew that Christopher was a great songwriter and I wanted to work with him. So um, I just, he sold me on that. I was <laughs> after, ever since that, we started, then I wanted to write songs with him. So then we started working on Oh How I Love You and bunch of other songs. When we did that co-write together, it was great too because it unleashed like the, the songwriter and Dan, the composer and Dan, and he introduced me to uh, like more than three chords. And it was great. It was great because he brought this lushness, this romanticism, and, and just this, this great, I mean, his palette was so, was so broad. He had so many ideas to choose from. I loved it. So I, I'm not going to let him get away with just giving me a compliment. Uh, he's made me a better songwriter. So. 
How about how did you cross paths with Leanne? Leanne was interesting. We said dance. It's kind of the mm -hmm. classic. Hey, we should start a band, <laughs> and so we did. We got someone who was a drummer, and we got someone who was a guitarist, and we played some shows. And then Dan and I were like, you know, some of these. I think we were thinking a female singer. This song seems right for a female. This song seems right for a female. And 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 surgery was out of the question. So <laughs> we uh, we did. We said, all right, well, let's 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 find people. It's not easy to find a great singer. It's not. It's a lot of work, and you have to go through a bunch of MySpace pages that are just that are disturbing. And so then I found Leanne through a producer, a friend of mine, Chris Badami. And he said, you got to hear her. She'd be great. And when we heard her voice and heard her doing songs, it was hard like not to give her more and more stuff. And that's really what's happened. I mean, that last note of that other song, forget it. I mean, I'd be out like, you know, gasping by the car <laughs> after that. But she just holds notes. And it, she makes me want to write more whole notes. <laughs> she really does. Cool. What else would you like to do for us? Well, we have uh, the potential for two more. Th this one's a story song. Uh, it's called The Family Tree. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that's a, it's a co-write with Dan and myself. And it may touch folks out there who've uh, lost a loved one. I had just Monday to myself. I took the cards down off the shelf. My dad, he died so suddenly. I moved his tools, the cans of paint. He kept a system like a saint. And then I saw a box addressed to me. It was a box that I never could sell. Packed inside it a sly carousel Soon it hummed and it flickered for me The history Of dad and mom and a wedding bouquet I clicked again and they're dancing away He left the branches for me Of the family tree Took his beach chair off the wall, propped up a stand, the screen and all. The pictures played before my eyes. The birthday cakes, my grandfolks too. The Christmas plays, the snow we threw. My brother, sister, pets, the great big zoo. was a box that I never could sell Packed inside it a slide carousel And soon it hummed and it flickered for me The history Of dad and mom and a wedding bouquet I clicked again and they're dancing away He left the branches for me Of the family tree wouldn't always be that way But they sure loved us every day Like a bended bow Hearts extend somehow So much love surrounding me From a box that I never could sell That held inside it a slide carousel It hums and flickers in me The history My dad and mom and a wedding bouquet I like to think that they're smiling today I'll tend the branches to be Of the family tree
Well, we just have a few minutes left for one more song. Let's jam. And, uh, <laughs> we should plug once again your website, Candleworks Productions. Candleworkproductions.com. I'm grateful. And uh, yeah, please go there and you can see all the, the new music we're cranking out. You'll hear more of Leanne and, and more of what we're doing all the time. And there's information about your compact disc on there. Absolutely. We're on iTunes and all that jazz. <laughs> You'll find us. Google us. It's Look called out. Affair to Remember. <laughs> yes. So what's, the, what's this last We are going to do a fun Latin number that Dan and I co-wrote just recently, and we're debuting it on your show. All I'm right. really excited. A so world debut. Be, this is right here on Horses Sing None of It. I'm loving it. And this, uh, yeah, this is fun. This is, uh, this will get you moving. Joy will come your way. Just bile, spin around, ole, and let your spirit soar across the floor. Yeah, spin around, ole, cause life is lovely. Spin around, ole, we've got the music and our life today. Hey, spin around, ole, come on and bile. Dance, dance, every heart can have a chance. Dance, dance. Got you in a trance, dance, dance, like we're lost in a romance. Every heart should have a spot. Shake the minutes way the world is ours today. Hey, when you buy La May, dance and sing. Dance and sing. One with everything, the joy will come your way. Just by me. 